Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to brief you about Chapter 10 Case Problem Retirement Plan. The main purpose of evaluating this case problem is understanding a spreadsheet based model and how it will be helpful for us to make decisions. Okay. So in this case study, it was given some details about a team where uh, his current age and uh, his uh, savings were given and his annual salary and what kind of increase he get every year on his salary and uh, several other details regarding taxation and uh, post retirement related details are given here. So the purpose is if Tim retires at the age of 66 years, what is the amount he will be saved by the end of 66 year that should be calculated based on which we can conclude the amount um, <clears throat> Tim can have at the end of 66 years which he can use it for he which he can use it after retirement okay the next step of this task is to calculating uh, how for how many years the saved amount can be last for tim for example if he starts spending money at 66 years and uh, whatever the amount saved for which uh, if he gets some kind of interest income and whatever the interest he realizes and whatever the amount he spends on that uh, if, if the person has to pay certain income tax after deducting all the information what can be the period by which a team can spend all the amount that should be calculated after that we are supposed to uh, find solutions to the team that after retirement how he can have money for longer period okay these three elements will be discussed in this case problem <clears throat> so let me start uh, showing you the solution so for the first question we are supposed to identify uh, using a spreadsheet model what could be the amount that he can save after <clears throat> 66 years which is his retirement age let me sh show you the case uh, solution sheet so this is solution template you can make certain changes to this uh, detailing you can give your own headings and uh, you are supposed to change all these details next we start giving introduction to spreadsheet models and how they will be helping uh, businesses to make decisions spreadsheet means excel excel sheets and the CSC files which we use for data analysis and uh, uh, making solutions usually spreadsheet models includes goal seek models scenario managers where we test uh, different type of scenarios and make conclusions about the best scenario there are multiple options you can search online about spreadsheet models and uh, you can discuss about their impact on business decisions after that try to give a small introduction to the brief introduction to the case problem that is uh, given in the other document here okay <clears throat> and it also includes what kind of calculations we are going to make in this uh, analysis and how they will be helping business to make appropriate decisions so the first one is uh, what could be the uh, amount that the person can save team can save at the end of the at the end of the retirement age so for that we have prepared a solution table so this is uh, our solution table so in that at the age at like in the last year means at present his age is 37 years and uh, before that it was uh, before year he saved around means at the end of 36 years he saved around 259,000 okay what it was mentioned uh, his current salary was uh, 145,000 and every year it increases by 2 percent so that is multiplied by 1.02 in the previous year's uh, salary will be multiplied by once so every year we are increasing the salary by 2 percent so for 65 years it was done next every year the employer contribution is uh, 6 percent of his uh, salary amount so on salary 6 percent of amount will be employer contribution towards his retirement okay so you are supposed to change these uh, headings uh, try to make whatever the headings that are appropriate for you so make sure that you make enough changes in the excel sheet so next as it was mentioned six percent of uh, current salary so this is current salary in that six percent is 
that value into 6% which is 8700 same way it is calculated for all the rows so next our personal like the person's team's personal contribution is 6000 and every year it will be increased by 2% so that is also calculated current savings means like last year what he saved that will become this year's like at present what savings we have okay so at present we are having 259000 savings so <clears throat> that is also provided here next savings at the end of the year so uh, savings uh, it will be it is uh, like on current savings 4% return like whatever the amount we saved in the bank on that the person will get 4% return so so when we calculate on current savings if we calculate 4% interest by the end of the year it will be 269,360 rupees so, and then we add contribution of employer and contribution of self to this value to get year end savings so this will become year end savings when we start calculating like that by the end of 65 years the value is shown as $1794,694 so this is the value that the person can save okay so because of like here how we can we are supposed to interpret it we should we explain that in addition to the salary whatever the gross savings we have created we get continuous return on savings we make at every year end and we also see that employer is contributing some value to the individual uh, to ensure that after the uh, retirement the person is having enough money left and it is also observed that an employee is also saving his own part to ensure that he meet uh, uh, retirement needs so when these all 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 these three values are considered the retirement amount for the employee is means retirement uh, value for the employee was 1974694 so which can be used by the person till his till oh, it lasts maybe for several years he can use it and he can sustain in the market after uh, <clears throat> after satisfying all the ex expenses he is having okay so now by this like this uh, by writing this interpretation this task is done the next task is taking this value like of uh, for suppose at 65 years this is the value then considering the yearly expenses the person is having and uh, the income tax he pays and also considering the returns he get because of the money that is at bank <coughs> we are supposed to calculate for how many years the person will have money to satisfy his expenses so post requirement we see that we took this salary and every year there is a consta consistent expense of 90000 and on that 90000 we are supposed to calculate income tax okay so 90000 on that we calculated income tax so we calculated uh, like a net value so means whatever the current salary we have on that we calculated <coughs> we subtracted expenses and uh, we calculated uh, savings after savings after expenses next we are supposed to calculate a income tax on the expenses whatever the 90000 that we are spending on that we are supposed to calculate 15% uh, tax income tax and we are supposed to reduce it from deduct it from savings so this is the formula that we have used we subtracted this value into 15% from the savings expenses okay so based on that we can see that at the year end the value that we are having is 169.1193.70 and on this the person will get 3% returns so as they get 3% returns so we say that 1.03 that will be multiplied on the savings value so overall at the end of 66 year the person will have approximately 174 1929.51 as savings okay so when we calculate same thing after 87 years after 87 years the person is not having enough money means he is having he is left with 82,342 dollars he is left with 82,243 dollars 
which is less for his expenses. Now at 89th year, he should borrow money from others. So till 88 years, the person can sustain with the retirement money. So that is how we discuss here after in considering the uh, expenses, uh, in income tax, uh, we can and returns the savings amount that can achieve for the person. It was noticed that uh, the person can sustain for approximately 88 years. Okay, beyond to sustain beyond that, the person need additional money to support his 90,000 expenses. That is the interpretation for this activity. After that, we are supposed to identify what it was mentioned here. We are supposed to identify some of the important elements, some of the important things that can be that can be improvised to ensure that the person can uh, use money for longer time. Okay, so if you check, if we cross check, if we cross check, what happens is the income tax is having larger impact on the person's utilization of funds. And the second thing is the returns the person is going to get. If additional investment is made by the person, like rather than keeping all the amount in bank, if the person invests some, some part of money and overall if he gets 4% of returns, first thing, first 4% uh, of returns or 5% of returns, the longevity of availability of funds can be increased. So let us see. Uh, by re removing the income tax here, 3% returns is standard and uh, we uh, removed income tax, income tax deductions from the column. So based on that, we can see that using the funds, whatever he have, Tim can live for live up to 30, 94 years using the funds that are available. Okay, this is one, one uh, area that we can make improvement. So if uh, income tax collecting income tax on retirement people is removed team can sustain for further six more years six six seven years by using the same money okay so next if uh, uh, the if team intellectually invests his money on some other aspects and overall if he gets four percent uh, by the returns by the end of the year there is a possibility of utilizing funds up to one or two years when he is having 4% returns. When the returns increased by 5%, considering the same conditions, if the returns is 5%, the money can be utilized up to 126 years. So here my take is that when you are explaining that if uh, returns are increased, you can consider this table <coughs> copy pasted and <coughs> I'm sorry copy pasted and utilized to show as proof. I don't want you people to give all the three elements. So for explaining when the income tax is not included, you just take a screenshot of this one, no copy paste. It should be a screenshot. You just take a screenshot of this, print screen and paste it on paint. and take the <coughs> screenshot and paste it onto solution pane. okay solution pane and give your interpretation okay that should be happened before while doing that it is very crucial that you ch change names and you can also change design settings okay you can use better designs you can apply colors maybe format table you can use and uh, you can update tables like this okay so you can use better uh, formatting for the tables and you, you are supposed to change names then you are supposed to take screenshot of that so after this what we do we give recommendations recommendations is that already we explained it from the task 3 we noticed that tax deductions avoiding tax deductions for the retirement people and ensuring that and uh, ensuring means, I mean, recommending the retired people to invest their money on some other models, some other uh, areas. If they get more returns, the, there's a possibility of 
utilizing efficiently utilizing the funds for longer period okay conclusion you should write the purpose what is the purpose of uh, writing creating the article and what kind of outcomes you achieved and it is very important that you add a reference related to it otherwise it will be difficult for us to understand okay so make sure that you include reference all the best team give your best